All right, guys. So what is something that you can do to really challenge yourself, really push yourself to a place that you have never been before, uh, been before right? Something I want to share with my own experience. Uh, years ago, when I revamped my business, uh, like I said, about the, after I revamped my business after failing for five years, about that third or fourth year, is when I really started to see my business take a shift for the good, for the positive. So that two years, man, just just really homing down on those first re, uh, two years of my re, of my uh, revamp stage, it really started to take off about that third year, fourth year, fifth year. Everything is looking good. So with that being said, my wife at the time she was working, and of course, you know, living you know in the suburbs. But my wife, most of the jobs that she was working was like in the city of Atlanta. So, you know, having two kids, having a family, uh, wife had to get up early in the morning, 7, 7.30, just to leave the house, just to be at work by 9 o'clock. Uh, sometimes she had a job that she had to get up like 5, 5.30 in the morning, right? And then, of course, she's going, putting in the hours, the eight-hour shift, coming back. You know, she might get off at 4 or 5, but she might not get home to 6 or 7, right? So she really didn't have a good, that, that good time, you know, with the kids, because by the time she got home, it was time to eat dinner, do homework, and everybody's off the bed, right? And, of course, we had our weekend time. So I'm going to say probably about, man, yeah, let me say about, I'm going to say about eight, nine years ago. I just told my wife to just stop working, you know, because I saw what it was, how it was affecting our relationship. It was affecting our family. It was affecting her, putting a lot of stress on her. Because my wife always wanted to be the type of mom that she really wanted to spend time with our kids, especially, you know, we have two girls. So uh, I told my wife to just quit. And guys, I will say this. It took it took me a while to make that decision, you know. But once I truly came up with that decision to make that decision in my mind, I stuck to it. You know, there was, like, there was no going back. So I told my wife, I said, you know what? Just quit your job. Let me handle everything. You just take a little break and, you know, and just see where it goes from here. Guys, let me tell you, that was one of the scariest decisions I've ever made. That was, it was, it was a challenge because everything fell on me. Now, I will say, man, my wife, I mean, she was just paying like the household bills, you know. So how I was looking at it, I'm like, okay, Courtney, if you really get out here, you know, see what I'm saying? You know, it's like I can either cut back on expenses, you know, or I can really get out here and make this happen. Because I think with her, the bills that she was paying was probably like maybe six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. No more than a thousand dollars a month. So that the way I think, you know, working in my own business, I'm like, OK, I can go out here and make that up just by making just by making two fifty, three hundred dollars in extra sales. You know, a week, you know, that's a thousand to twelve hundred dollars just to cover her bill. So so that's how I start thinking. And guys, I'm going to tell you, I've, I've used that strategy so many times because I remember when my business, again, started taking a shift when I wanted to go from a portable to a truck mount. Now, back then I did not have, you know, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars to buy a truck mount straight out. Right. So with that being said, you know, my only option was finance. So I financed that truck mount, my first truck mount. And the payment was 300 with insurance. It was like 365 a month. And guys, at first I was scared. I was like, man, $315 a month, three, oh, 365 a month. But guys, let me tell you that three, first of all, it was an investment. All right. So I don't, so anytime I, I make a decision, I don't look at it as I'm spending money. I look at it as I'm investing money. Okay. I'm, I'm bettering my business with a purpose. So that three sixty five a month, guys, was like nothing because it actually made my work so much easier. Because instead of hauling in a machine into my clients' homes every single day from the truck, you know, to the house, taking it upstairs, it took first of all the the, the truck mount took a a large workload off my body. All right, it made my job easier. It made my job more efficient, and it also gave me confidence. It made me feel better about what I was doing, you know, in my uh, line of work at the time, cleaning carpets. It, it, it made me look like a true professional. I noticed that clients were giving me compliments on it. So it was a, it was, it was really a, a good shift, you know, compared the, the 365 that I was spending a month was nothing because I, I noticed that I started getting uh, referrals. I started getting more repeats clients. So that 365 investment paid for itself like, man, a lot of times, okay, more than a hundred times, more than a thousand times. Because 
you know, when we when we make decisions, the reason why a lot of people don't reach potential or they don't really grow is because they they so focus on you know what they have to put out instead of what could p- possibly come back in return, right? And that's how I start thinking, guys. So um, I want to say sometimes you got to put your back against the wall. Sometimes you got to get out your comfort zone. You know, a lot of times, a lot of us, especially for us who are trying to grow, you got to get out your comfort zone because you're not going to grow if you just keep staying comfortable. You just keep staying comfortable and and, and, and uh, boxing yourself in this box where you can't get out. So I want to say those were two of the times that I can remember is when I told my wife to stop working. That then, guys, that again, just like the, the, the portable, just like the truck mount gave me so much it gave me so much confidence and it gave me so made my body by uh, working on my, on my body uh, was a lot easier. The when my wife start, stopped working, guys, it just changed the whole dynamics of, of our family. My wife, I mean, our relationship got better. She she has time like and she, my wife hasn't worked for corporate America since. Right. So she's had opportunities to work on herself find what she want to do, you know, in her life, spend time with the girls, you know, anytime they have like doctor's appointments or, you know, uh, teacher conferences, my wife take care of all that. You see what I'm saying? But the biggest benefit is the freedom. You know, I remember there was times, man, that my wife would have to make up a lot just to take off work, you know, because I, I, you know, I've always had my own schedule. So I'm like, you know, let's go take a little vacation. Oh, let me ask, can I take off work? But now ever since then, just to be able to just go when we want to, that is like, that is priceless. I mean, there is just nothing that can compare to that where we can just get up and go because we all, we both control our own time, you know? So that's the thing, guys. So uh, anybody out there, man, you know, um, if you, if you are, you know, deep down, you need to do something, you need to uh, make a change, you need to grow, guys, just, just, just do it, man. Because I'm telling you, when you make that decision, you will be surprised. That little pressure, you might think it's a lot of pressure, but once you really accept that challenge and that responsibility, you'll realize like, man, this this is so, I was like really holding myself back, overthinking something that was so small, so small. And when you look back and you're like, man, I'm so glad, I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad I made that decision. You just realize, and then now decision-making becomes so much easier now. Sometimes you have to make that really, big decision, okay, maybe one or two or three times. But once, again, it becomes a habit. So now when I make a decision, I make it. I don't think about it. I don't ask nobody. I don't ask my wife. You know, I got I have guys. And again, man, everybody's relationship is different. But I have guys that I talk to and, um, or, okay, Courtney, let me let me talk to my wife about it. I'm like, huh? Like, how I feel like I, I'm the head of the household, all right? I know as a man, I'm going to make the best decisions for all of us, all right, as a man. Why do I need to talk to her about it? See what I'm saying? I don't. Because my wife knows whatever decision I make, I'm making it for the best interest of the whole family, not just me. See what I'm saying? Uh, just like my office. This was another decision. You know, now this was already a decision that I had had, you know, for years. I just needed the opportunity, you know. And once I found this office, again, man, it, it's separated my business from my home. There's just no way I you you can go back. You know, uh, just certain things that you do, you you're going, to, you're going to continue to elevate. You're not going to downgrade. See what I'm saying? So just like this office, now that I, I don't have to take my vans home, I don't, my, my garage is a family garage. See what I'm saying? It's not all my chemicals and all my tools. Packages coming to the door every day. Everything is coming here to the shop. It's a great feeling, man. It's just making those decisions that sometimes we think are going to hurt us, but actually they're going to help us. All right, guys. See you in the next one.